Hello everyone, we are so excited to share more about Power Apps with you over, the, over this course. Um, and uh, we're excited to dive into the details of what it takes to build apps and uh, make everyone successful on this platform. Uh, but before we do, uh, as a member of this product team, I'd, I'd like to help uh, share a little bit of context. How do we think about Power Apps? How does it fit as part of the, the broader platform from Microsoft? And how should we think about the problems that it helps us solve in the first place? Uh, so with that, I'd like to welcome you to, uh, to, to the platform. Uh, we think about Power Apps in the context of business applications more broadly here at Microsoft and the platform that we have for helping build and extend the business applications that we offer. Uh, the core problem that we're solving with that really comes down to the fact that business software is hard. Uh, it's hard for everyone who's ever had an experience either uh, certainly using, but also building, buying, and extending. Um, and, and a lot of that comes back to the fact that, that these are non-trivial systems. Uh, even simple line of business applications uh, have to deal with a whole set of challenges and issues around data and governance and security and uh, sophistication uh, that just make it very difficult classically to innovate and move the needle on what our business applications and our tools do for us. Um, and that has been uh, holding, holding business and innovation back for too long. And at the heart of that, that's really what we're trying to solve. Now, why is business, uh, why are business applications hard? Uh, what can we do about it? Now, it boils down to a couple of just core fundamental problems. For one, we know that no business app is ever really complete. Uh, there's a lot of great SaaS products out there for business applications. We make many of them here at Microsoft, and, and we know that you use them, but we also know that what you buy off the shelf rarely solves 100% of the problems that your business needs, or rarely does it in exactly the way that your users uh, need, to, uh, need to use the application. Um, the problem is our options for solving that traditionally have been really limited. They've been limited to this classic dichotomy between do we build it ourselves or do we buy it off the shelf? Do we go through the time and expense of, of a custom software for development team and all the effort that goes into it uh, to make something that then we'll have to maintain and, and move forward? Um, or do we buy something that may not do everything that we need it to do? Uh, we really feel here at, at Power Apps that we need to reframe that conversation entirely. Uh, not to be an either or, but really to be a conversation about how do we extend and get more value out of the tools we already use, and the data we already have. And, and a core piece of this platform is about doing more with, with what's already there. Now, what's already there is the data and the software, it's also the people, which leads us to one of these other classic problems and challenges in the space of business applications, which is who does it? Is it, is it business users themselves or business units themselves, or is it a central IT governance? Uh, let's all admit it, there's been classic conflict there inside of our companies and our organizations. Uh, and again, I think we need to reframe this conversation. This is really about people who understand the problem, who are close on the ground to what would be a more efficient solution, and people who who have the skills and the tools and the, and, the, and the horizontal visibility in order to solve that problem. Um, and at the end of the day, we need to figure out how to work better together, how to build things that are quick and responsive and fast, um, but also work in a way that lives up to the standards we have in our enterprises today that are global and scalable and secure uh, and reliable and compliant. Uh, we need to do both of those things. We need to figure out how to work better together. Now, we've been talking about these problems for a long time. These are not new ambitions. In fact, a young Satya Nadella more than 20 years ago was on a uh, webcast not unlike this one. Uh, it actually was a cable TV cast at that time, talking about how to help business users be more productive in Excel building business uh, tools and business solutions. Uh, and, and in fact, Microsoft has a rich tradition and rich communities of makers who have used tools for a long time to solve their problems. There are millions of makers every day, every week, every month, solving problems in Excel. Uh, there are millions of people who have, who have extended that with visual based and continue to rely on those solutions. There are millions of people with access databases or people who have built on top of SharePoint, who have used InfoPath to customize forms. Rich communities that have, that have uh, continued to rely on Microsoft and will continue to rely on these tools for a long time. Uh, the challenge, though, is that uh, until now, until this platform, uh, we have not really brought those tools into the modern era and we have not really unified them in a way that bring together both what business users can do on the front lines and what what IT needs to govern and organizations need to rely on behind the scenes. And, and that really is at the heart of where Power Apps fits and how we think about the business application platform more broadly. Uh, for one, we see this about more than just application UI. 
This is about analysis. This is about data. Um, it's also about automation and making our businesses work uh, faster and more productively, taking rote processes and uh, making them less manual. And, and it's about data and connecting to information we already have. Uh, so we see Power Apps, Power BI, Microsoft Flow really is a family of tools aimed at non-traditional developers who can be more productive in solving the problems we have over the data that we are already using um, in our organizations. All of that happens not on a silo, but actually as part of using Office 365 and extending things like SharePoint right in context, as part of using Dynamics 365 and extending our business applications where they are, um, and also getting more value out of investments that your company may have in Azure, the capabilities that are there to extend these citizen developer solutions with professional developer code. When you put that all together, we really see a high productivity platform that has no cliffs, where, where uh, business users and business analysts can start with very simple scenarios like extending or customizing a form embedded in SharePoint, um, all, working all the way up the stack to building more sophisticated standalone apps and even extending the capabilities of the platform itself with professional code. Uh, this is not just about uh, enabling uh, a, a citizen developers to build applications, it's really about enabling everybody to work more efficiently together. Uh, now, now, how does that actually come together? What are some of the core pieces of Power Apps in, in this platform and this core concepts that we'll be talking about over the course of the rest of these videos and, and educational experiences? For one, it's cloud first. Um, it lives in the cloud, it's manageable in the cloud, it connects to hundreds of cloud-based data sources um, and, uh, and is a way to bring a lot of those classic maker tools that we talked about a minute ago forward into the modern era. It's also inherently cross-platform. The applications you build with Power Apps uh, work instantly across iOS, Android, um, across tablets and phones, across the web as well, um, and it's connected to the data we're already using. Uh, it leverages the assets we already have and the information we have in places. It's also centrally manageable. Uh, IT has visibility across the organization into what users are doing, uh, can set high-level policies and actually low level granular control over permissions and, and role-based access, but still empower those users on the front lines to solve problems with the skills they have. Um, and lastly, as, as, as we discussed a minute ago, there are no cliffs here. Um, as a solution starts at a simple level and gets more complex, uh, we don't have to abandon the platform, we just bring more richness to it. Um, so you'll see as we get into these videos, you'll see what that, what that means, and it's really, it starts at this simple, easy authoring experience uh, that takes skills that users have built in, in tools like PowerPoint and Excel um, and, uh, and access and InfoPath and brings them to bear in this modern cloud-first cross-platform world in a truly WYSIWYG environment where you're building an app and using it at the same time. Uh, but of course, sitting a layer under that is all of the data that we bring to these applications. Um, the, uh, the, the common data service that comes on board with the platform and 160 plus connected data sources on top of that that allow us to take advantage of what we already have. Um, and we talked about the cross-platform aspect, the ability to then publish those applications applications and have them work instantly on any device, um, and the ability to do that in a way that has top-down visibility central control. So we can empower greater productivity without sacrificing governance, without sacrificing security, without sacrificing scalability. Um, and, uh, and we'll spend a lot of time talking about the experience for administration because of that as well. Um, also, on, on the point of no cliffs, there's also a, a rich pro-developer extensibility story here, the ability to plug in building blocks that power users and citizen developers can use as well. Uh, all that adds up to Power Apps. There's a lot there. There's a lot to cover, but we're excited to dig into the details with you. And over the course of the, of the coming videos, uh, we hope you'll get a much richer understanding of how you too can be productive and overcome these barriers. Uh, we're excited to see what you can do with the platform.